So this just came in today. This is an adjustable Mares Abyss. It's currently paired with a 62X first stage, and it's an absolutely wonderful breathing regulator. This thing breathes like a champ. It's an absolute workhorse. But did you know it is the only Abyss in the history of all the Mares Abysses that actually has an adjustable second stage? What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you a series of Mares Abyss reg sets, kind of talk about the history, how long they've been around, and I'm gonna show you my personal Abyss sets that I still use to this day, including the Navy Abyss. And I'm even gonna show you an adjustable model that was only available to the brick and mortar stores. You couldn't really purchase it online anywhere. Um, they were just just made available to the brick and mortar stores to sell out to their customers. So with that being said, let's learn a little bit more about the Mares Abyss. So for 74 years, Mares has been in the business of creating scuba gear. And one of their flagship models, of course, is the Mares Abyss. Now this is a roughly a 2012, 2013 model here. This is the second stage from an MR22 first stage Mares Abyss. And it's an absolutely beautiful reg set. Of course, it used to be before it got all scratched up. But this is, to even to this day, is one of the top rated breathing regs for deep diving. Uh, this is my personal one here. I still use it occasionally on one of my reg sets, but it's a workhorse. I mean, you virtually cannot damage this thing here, uh, and it's a simple design. The internal working mechanisms are very simple. You don't have a lot of plastic in it. It's basically all solid metal, and everything is built into the housing itself, so you don't have a lot of internal parts that uh, come out and then come apart. Now, there was actually two different versions of this. This is the standard Mares Abyss. There was also the Navy Abyss, which was coined for the United States Navy, of course. And this model is actually still being produced with the exact same first stage that it's always been produced with, which is just the Navy 2 or the MR-22 that's been boosted. Basically, it's got a couple of different components in this first stage and it did in the uh, standard first stage. But essentially, it's the exact same second stage. Just as a quick comparison here, you'll see the second stages are identical with the exception. This one's pretty much painted all black and Back in the early uh, 20-teens, these stopped coming with um, rubber hoses. They started coming with MyFlex hoses. With the Navy Abyss, they always sent these with the rubber hoses, and you can still purchase this guy today with the rubber hoses as well. I currently have this. This is my set that is set up for doubles and ice diving. And so I still use these regs. They're absolutely uh, amazing regs. They're virtually indestructible and they breathe absolutely phenomenal. Now to kind of increase um, how the Abyss has grown over the years, back when Mares came out with their XR line, they came out with the 25X first stages and they paired them with two different second stages. We're only gonna talk about one of them in this video. And that second stage was the DR, which simply stood for deep reg. And if I hadn't said it already, Mares still currently holds the record for the deepest um, open circuit scuba dive. And of course it was done with the Abyss itself. Well, if we compare to the DR and look really close, we will notice that the DR is essentially an Abyss second stage. Everything is virtually identical. It's just got a slightly fatter faceplate on it. And if we can kind of hold it up in comparison to this one, you will see they are virtually the exact same second stage. As a matter of fact, you can take the faceplate off the DR, place it on the abyss, and now you have another DR. Or I could take the faceplate of this abyss, place it on the DR, and essentially I have an abyss. So it's a cool little feature to see that. I remember when the DRs first come out, a lot of us were joking that, yeah, it's a glorified abyss, and essentially that's exactly what it is. These are my personal sets, of course, that I use for side mount. You guys have seen these in plenty of our videos, but it's pretty neat that I can literally just swap faceplates and essentially have two different regs uh, with one housing there. And the last one that we're going to look at was a innovation that, to be honest, I wasn't really too keen on, but I do want to talk a little bit about it. These are the adjustable abysses. These were the only adjustable abysses, to my knowledge, that were ever produced. Now, the great thing about these, especially for a store owner like me, 
is these were only sold to the brick and mortar stores. They wasn't sold to the online retailers. So your major larger online retailers could not actually get their hands on these. Now you may find a couple of these used now on um, online somewhere, but when these were sold out a couple of years ago, I believe it was 2021, something like that, these were sold to the brick and mortar stores and there was a limited run. And that was what uh, made these so desirable. It was just kind of a limited run and they are adjustable. Now I should put a disclaimer in here. I'm not a huge fan, even even though, yes, I dive adjustable reg sets. I'm not a huge fan of adjustable second stages because I truly believe that if you have a balanced first stage, you do not need an adjustable second stage for any reason. And the argument, of course, would go, well, what about currents? Maybe you're in a cave, you're fighting a really strong current in the ocean, it can kind of push in on the purge. Well, if we look at every single one of these purges, you will notice they are very well built. They are very sturdy. It takes quite a bit of force to actually press in on the purge itself. And because of the grid design, on every single one of these, it actually dispersed that water around more of the housing versus going through the housing. So there never really was a risk with these models of it being uh, purged in during a strong current. So you didn't really have to detune it mid-dive to uh, solve the issue of any type of free flow. But yeah, these were a limited run, the Abyss adjustables, and they were absolutely great. They were paired with the 62X, which came out several years ago, and it's an absolutely awesome rig. It's very lightweight, easy to travel, but it's a really good breathable um, diaphragm rig set. And now they're even making the 62X in a dual piston. So you could very easily pair any of these with a brand new dual piston from Mares and have an absolutely beautiful breathing Abyss rig set. So there you go, guys. There's a quick little history lesson on the Mares Abyss. Kind of showed you different models over the years. Anywhere from the MR-22, which is what I first started with the Abyss, all the way up to the Navy 22, the uh, 25X, the 75X. They even made that, which was an upgraded version of the 25X. And then, of course, the 62X on the adjustable Mares Abyss as well. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this history lesson on the Abyss. Let me know down in the comment section below, have you ever dove one? Which model? And do you like it? Do you still believe that it's one of the best regs out there, one of the best breathing regs, and definitely one of the most durable regs. So let me know down in the comment section what you think. But guys, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop me a comment down below and I'll try to get to you as quick as I can. I'm going to go ahead and sign off today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.